Hey Geek, so if you're just starting out on your Blu-ray collecting journey, then probably the biggest problem that you, I, and practically everybody else has is money. Having the money and the budget to actually spend it on things that you absolutely love can definitely be a frustrating experience, but there's always many ways you could try to make things cheaper. And today I'm going to be showing you basically a Blu-ray hack, especially for people who are just starting out. So what is this way that you could actually get Blu-rays at a cheaper price? Well, the answer is not as simple as you might think if you're starting out, but as you look at it over the long term, you see that this is probably going to be the cheapest way to actually get the movies that you love. And what is this method? Well, typically, whenever you're starting out, you're normally going to think of a movie that you enjoy or movies, and you're just going to go ahead and pick it up. You know, something like this where I got John Wick Part 1, but there's probably going to be other movies in this series. Like, you know, I have the same movie, but in a steelbook form right here. Uh, but then there's also John Wick 2 here. And currently there's four movies in this. So you can see that if you do decide to get each one of these individually, it's going to cost a lot of money most of the time. So instead, I highly recommend that you look for a box set or a collection all in one like what I have here. Uh, this is the entire John Wick 4K collection. About the only thing that's missing here is John Wick 4. But I was able to get this on sale for around $23. That is basically almost the price that I paid for a single steelbook. You know, so that is a huge saving. So you're getting three movies. These are 4K for around $10 a piece. And this is probably going to be the best way for you to save money. And then another thing that you could do is if you don't necessarily need 4K, then I would just look at these Blu-ray collections. You know, this one has actually nine movies for both Batman and Superman. And this one I got on sale for about $30. That is an incredible price. Plus it has all these different additions and special features as well. And then this one right here, this is Star Trek The Motion Picture Trilogy. I was able to get this on sale for $10. That is an absolutely ludicrous price and you really can't beat that. And all of these are new. These aren't used uh, box sets. And then the final, and I would say the best way to get the best bang for your buck, if you can do it, is to actually look for box sets that have both 4K and Blu-ray and then look for them on sale. Like I was able to get this entire Matrix 4K Blu-ray collection. I think it's on sale for like $39 or basically $40. That is an absolutely incredible price, especially considering if you just get one of the Matrix movie in 4K and Blu-ray alone, it's going to cost you about $25. And then another set that I got was the entire Karate Kid 4K collection. Um, this also has the Blu-ray. And at the time of this video, you can't get this box set anymore. Now they're going to sell these individually or they have sold these individually, but these are kind of special because they are different from the individual packs. And for this particular one, I was able to get this for around $50. And at the time of this video, they're releasing Karate Kid 1 4K again, but it's going to be near $40. So as you can see here, if you look for these box sets, specifically if you can get them in 4K and Blu-ray and get them at a sale, these are going to be the cheapest way for you to get into your Blu-ray collection. And at the same time, you don't have to worry or think about, well, my collection is not complete. And of course, they could always release sequels in the future, but I kind of feel this is the most cost effective way to grow your library and also save a ton of money, especially if you are on a budget that you could get it on Blu-ray like I have right here. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you save money on your Blu-ray collection, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my movie collection videos, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode. Hey geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips including marketing. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.